But as far as what I have coming up right now, I'm I'm doing some investigating at my house. I have uh, a collection of VHS tapes from like the 80s and 90s from our grandfather that I had in uh, storage that my mom, um, I was holding for my mom. And so I, I dusted them off. I still have a VCR, thank goodness. And I'm, I'm going through those. I'm, I wanna convert them into a digital format and really digest some of the material that he has on there. Um, specifically, I, I, he has um, a four volume uh, VHS tape um, series called the Daniel Salter um, UFO Files. And um, when I, I just discovered the first one and watched it the other day, and it really was, was interesting. He, he introduces uh, several little mini films throughout um, each video, each uh, cassette. And the first one was about, uh, you know, the, the Nazis, the UFO technology, how they started with their secret societies back in like 1919. And they, you know, were channeling, you know, Sumerian text and, and coming up with different things with these scientists, um, you know, and ex having their expeditions um, in the East to, to find ancient artifacts and, and all, having that all come together. Um, and their vision is the, you know, the Third Reich with Black Sun organization. Um, and it goes into really a lot of detail about the UFO technology that they developed and what they had. Um, and then actually going down to Antarctica and setting up their bases where, you know, that's kind of what uh, Admiral Byrd you know, encountered when he was down there um, and how long ago they had this technology and the, and the history of that. So that was, I really want to dive into that and, and talk about that further. Um, there was the other um, videos that were on that tape. We're talking about just all the different um, UFO encounters over the years, over the decades that are very prevalent in a lot of other countries and even government acknowledged by, by other, other countries, which doesn't happen in the United States. Um, so that was, that was really interesting. Um, and then the last one on this first tape was, uh, an interview with, uh, Zachariah Sitchin, um, talking about, you know, his, his book collection about, you know, transcribing the Sumerian text, the Anunnaki and that whole story, Nibiru and, and every, everything that has to do with that. Um, which is interesting because that's also part of the Wingmaker, you know, discussion. Uh, and it's, it's come up a lot recently on a lot of the different People, you know, Elena Danan has been talking about this in the in, in key and um, Ismael Perez uh, and different things about the, the, the Anunnaki is becoming more and more present. Like I, I, you know, reading the 12th planet a long time ago, it's always been there, but it's never been like at the forefront of, of discussions, at least that I've, I've noticed, but it's, it's, it seems to be more prevalent right now. So it's, it's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I was so going to yeah, say that okay. I was going to just touch on that because that that is crucial, I think, to. What my what 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 my grandfather really he told me was the first thing to go look at as as a kid. Like God, that was the first book I read was the Twelfth Planet on anything that had to do with out of the mainstream uh, science and history that we're taught. But that book opened my, up the, the, my eyes in the world, the whole other world of uh, uh, of our true true nature of reality and where we came from. And so I read basically all of those books and and was a big follower of Zachary Sitchin and. And what he had to say but um like you said um <clears throat> it was it, ismail perez i guess is a new one um, that's come out well also first of all elena denon's been talking about it actually says that she was able to communicate directly with enki and enki is the out of the the two brothers the uh, um and lil and enki um he was the one supposedly who actually created it created us he's the geneticist out of the two brothers and I guess there's going to be a lot of controversy now saying, oh, but Enki's the bad one or, you know, Enlil's the good one. And there's probably going to be all of that discussion for a while. Um, <laughs> and that goes back to the biblical stories. And so I think that's all been kind of very confusing to people. And anyway, I won't get into that. But it's very interesting that these these are obviously like immortals. If this is so if this is true and her information is correct, uh, what she who she was able to speak with, I mean and in some form or another uh that's pretty profound and that just shows you these are very much probably much higher dimensional beings they say from the sixth dimension uh 